Hey, good afternoon, JCPS. Hope you've had a great week as we close out the week. I know students are probably excited. It's a four-day weekend for you students, so uh, take some time and relax. Um, get caught up, rested up before we come back for a couple weeks before Thanksgiving break. Uh, teachers, you, as you know, you have Monday Gold Day. Looking forward to that. And then you also have off Tuesday for Election Day. So a little time to relax for everybody. Um, and take a look back at the uh, busy week we had. So on Tuesday evening was our regularly scheduled board meeting. We started off with a work session at our board meeting to really do a quarterly update around our data here in JCPS. And I've really been committed with my team to ensure that we are really focusing on data and improvement in data and making sure we're moving in the right direction um, and making adjustments and action steps along the way. So we've been committed to doing that at central office and at schools and we want to make sure we do that publicly at a work session um, and what we found is although we've got a long way to go and a lot of work to do we're seeing some positive trends in the data we reported to our board uh, of education that we are seeing student attendance is up uh, more of our students are coming to school teacher attendance is up more teachers are coming to school um, suspensions are down discipline referrals are down across the district all three levels in those areas and so we're really excited around some of that culture and climate data still know we got a lot of work to do but what it's saying is some of our systems work is is working and happening and so we're going to continue focusing on that we also took a look um, at our map assessments uh, students in reading and math and along with our backpack um, and how many kids have uh, created their folders for backpack and logged on which is over 95,000 students and over 32,000 of our students who have put artifacts in their folders so exciting work around the backpack we know we have some real significant work to continue to do in, in literacy and in math um, and really to focus on that growth with our map assessment. The next window where our students will be taking that assessment in is, is in December. So we're excited to see the work that schools are doing to improve uh, both literacy and our, our math scores um, and ensure that students have the skills they need in their backpack to be transition ready. So great work session for us. A couple other important events. Um, at the board meeting, we approved school calendars for 1920 and 2021. So those are published at this time. So we know what days will be in school for both of those years. And finally, a technology report about how we are developing a plans to drastically increase the amount of devices uh, that schools have to use and the access uh, to the internet um, and software for schools uh, with technology. So thanks to Dr. Belcher, our chief information officer, who's putting together a plan to really increase that at schools in the years to come to match with our backpack. Uh, earlier this week, I was also uh, honored to participate in the Youth Summit on Opioid Awareness at Freedom Hall. We had 5,000 eighth graders and ninth graders attend this great event. Thanks to the Mark Wahlberg Foundation and to Mayor Fisher for bringing this to us and letting our eighth and ninth graders uh, be a part of this. Uh, and really learn about opioid awareness, but also becoming better leaders in their schools. So um, it was a, a great event. It was an honor to speak to 5,000 of our 8th and ninth graders. Also, great press conference this week at uh, GE Appliances, where we got to honor a new program with Doss High School, where uh, it's called GEA Today, where we have students who are actually going to work at GE on Mondays and Fridays, and then at school Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, GE is supporting them uh, with that apprenticeship model, but then also giving them up to $6,000 uh, in years to come for post-secondary opportunities. So thanks to GE Appliances for their work. Also got to run into a former student, David, who told a great story about how excited he is to work uh, for GE. So it was a great event for us. Today, finally, I got to read at Camp Taylor Elementary as a part of uh, literacy work at the school. Uh, got to read a book to the entire school. So first time I've read to several classes before, first time I've ever read to an entire school. Uh, great opportunity to interact with our students. I love interacting with our elementary school students. Had a lot of fun with that. Thanks Camp Taylor for that opportunity. So once again, busy week as you can see. Um, rest up students. You got four days to rest up to get ready for next week. Uh, staff, uh, principals, teachers, staff, Monday's very important, our final gold day of the year. We need a great gold day, um, really improving our craft and getting better as an organization. So come in ready to go on Monday because you get Tuesday off to rest. Thanks and have a great weekend.